Hey guys, so I am back. Happy, happy new year. So many of you, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, then you might be a bit confused why I'm saying welcome back. And for my viewers, you guys might also be confused because you guys might be saying, Kira, you only didn't post for like one week. It's not that big of a deal. But in actuality, I just kind of scheduled everything into last up until it can till the end of December or so I thought. I just had one week that was left out. And I actually stopped filming and uploading videos on the 10th of December. So it's almost a month that I've gone without making videos and filming, etc. I have still been active on Instagram, but not so much on YouTube. And this is the first time I ever took such a long break in my whole two years of doing YouTube. And I will go into the whole reason for that, but I just really wanted to say first and foremost, Happy New Year. I hope that this year brings you lots of love and happiness and a lot of peace of mind. I know for many of us, 2021 was a very, very difficult year, myself included. Some of you had an amazing 2021 and I'm so happy that it turned out that way for you. But for some of us, it did not go that way and I learned so many things along the way and I think that has really shaped me or has shaped what I want to sort of say in this video with regards to New Year's resolutions. So let's first start off with why this whole break and 2021 proved to be a difficult year for me. Besides finishing my degree, which I'm so grateful for and I'm so happy that I did well and you know I passed and I'm actually going to probably go into honours this year. It was still a very difficult year. Besides my academics, a lot of my immediate family felt very ill and our lives had to change overnight. And it's not really something any family wants to go through where there are multiple family members that are not doing well, are sick and, you know, your whole life has to change and obviously your perspectives and priorities change. So that was one thing. And the second thing, which is personal, and I'm not going to go into detail right now, maybe in the future I will once I kind of have more education and I've made improvements on my own about what I'm going to speak about. But the actual reason in December why I had to take a month break is I actually was not doing well in terms of my health, both mentally and medically. And so the month that I had to take off, thank God I was starting off Christmas. And so I had a few videos that were already planned, that were already pre-filmed by the 10th of December. I think I uploaded two like vlogmas vlogs and then i think i had two videos still left over for vlogmas day eight and nine or somewhere around there and so i just ended up using that for my weekly uploads instead of vlogmas i had to completely stop because i had to use that month to go get some medical tests done and see a medical professional i will definitely go more into depth with this because what happened is something that is actually very common but very under talked about or under spoken about there's very little information about it but i do want to probably say that in another video because it deserves its own topic and everything else that has taken the whole month of december for me to come to terms with to get the answers that i was looking for etc so needless to say that is my life update i am going into honors or postgrad studies this year which i'm very very excited for and i will probably let you guys in a little more on that whole journey in maybe a separate video if you guys want to know how to choose honors or any postgrad or how to apply let me know down in the comments below so as you can tell 2021 was definitely not the best year in terms of the amount of good days that i had but 2021 definitely was a very pivotal year in my life I think because it taught me a lot of lessons and even though they were difficult and they seemed impossible to get through at times when I was going through it at the time I think I came out of it as a stronger person so with all of the learnings and experiences that I had in 2021 although I am grateful for things such as like my 21st birthday, finishing my degree and you know getting time to really focus in on my studies last year. I am grateful for those part of last year but I'm also grateful for these difficult lessons that I learned as I said previously. In the last week of 2021, so the period between Christmas and New Year, I really wanted to make sure that despite how 2021 went, I wanted to make sure that I still ended off on a good note, that I still utilized my break and the festive period to still 
you know, bring some joy that may be lacked in some parts of the year, to put it very bluntly. 2021 was definitely a high stress, high tier sort of year. But I spent these last few days doing what I love and it made me feel so stress free and happy for a longer period than just two days. And that was something that I found really hard to achieve in 2021. You know, I'd be great one day and then I'd be off for like a week and a half. And you know, I'm definitely always a positive person, always love to have a smile on my face. And so even if I felt horrible, I just tried to, you know, sometimes fake it till you make it and put out you know happiness and things like that but sometimes that just didn't work but when i was doing everything that i loved without any you know constraints or things to finish at the end of the year i felt so stress-free so peaceful and i ended up enjoying that week in the festive period even more than majority of the year since it is the beginning of the year many people are talking about new year's resolutions new year new me new year new goals and everybody is wanting 2022 to be this goal-driven, achievement-filled year. And I do want the same for myself. Obviously, I'm not going to just say, no, I'll be happy with no achievements in the year. Of course, I want to achieve. However, my approach to it is completely different than the other years that I have started out the new year. 2021 made me realize that sometimes things don't go your way. And that is okay. Life has its own plan and whatever higher power you believe in always has a plan for you. I'm a firm believer that what is meant to happen will happen and I definitely do believe in destiny. Whether that is religious or spiritual or whatever your belief system is, it might be difficult now to see something or experience something. But in the end, it will always lead to something better or serve as a learning curve. And with this in mind... Even though sometimes people say some things happen for the best, sometimes things just happen. That's the unpredictability of life. Not everything has to happen because it's going to send you on a pathway of higher happiness. Sometimes it's going to send you on a more difficult path. But that pathway will end up teaching you some of the most valuable lessons and serving you with the most important aspects of life that you need to experience. So for 2022, I do not have any specific goals Per se. More so, I just hope, you know, to smile a bit more, to learn to go with the flow a bit more. I actually never knew I was a type A personality and I still don't think I'm fully a type A personality. I think I'm probably like a mixture of type A and B because in certain aspects of my life, I do like planning. I do like things to go according to plan. But in some aspects of my life, I love letting things, you know, free flow, going with just how life takes its course. But I want to definitely become a lot more free reigning with my decisions and experiences and not so much trying to control everything that happens to me. Sometimes I will go off track and I will get upset if things don't go a certain way that I would have liked it to go or it doesn't go according to the plan that I had for myself. But I definitely want to become more aware and conscious of identifying when I am faced with something that I cannot control or finding different ways to deal with the stresses that come with all of those things. And that leads to my other part of my, I guess, resolutions, which is to still challenge myself. I've always been a curious person who does not like set ways. I do like routine in some aspects of my life, but I do like challenging myself, whether that is taking a harder subject at university or, you know, pushing myself out to meet new people or trying out new things, whether that be food or like actual like, you know, experiences. But I definitely want to also identify where I cannot accept things. And that kind of goes with becoming more free flowing and being able to just let life take its course and know that if I cannot change anything, if there are external factors causing things in my life, for example, COVID, I don't have any control over that the only thing that i have control over is you know to wear my mask make sure that i get my booster when i'm eventually allowed it 
and to wear a mask and sanitize and social distance those are the things i'm in control of but i'm not in control if you know i'm supposed to be planning a trip to i don't know dubai for instance in like april and then there's a second wave i'm not in control of that and sometimes last year when things would spike in cases during the year i would get so frustrated because it would be you know when i'm planning to do something and those are like the two main things and obviously with all of that in mind I'm hoping to apply that to obviously improving my health and excelling in all my passion, which is my career. I'm very passionate about sustainability and climate change. That's what I'm currently studying in university if you're new to the channel. Also, my dance and music classes and obviously you guys, YouTube. I seriously don't know where I would have been last year without having YouTube as a distraction for me from whatever was going on. So I really do still want to keep the focus on YouTube. But I think from all of the things that I've spoken about in terms of my resolutions, I think you guys can see there's a pattern. I have given very broad resolutions that I want to have this year or very broad changes that I want to make in my life this year without having a time frame or, you know, specifics attached to it. Like, for instance, I want to be having a completely healthy diet by a healthy diet. I don't like the word diet, but completely healthy diet by like June. Because I feel that just adds on more stress and that's what I'm trying to steer away from as best as I can this year. So I just have very broad goals this year or very broad things that I want to try out this year. This is definitely a new strategy or a new plan for me. I've never done this. As I said, I've been a very goal-oriented or orientated person my entire life. And to have having such broad goals, I've never done before, but... You know, I'm willing to let this year be a trial run and see, you know, how it goes. This might work for you if you also had a very stressful 2021. Maybe try taking in the same tips that I just gave, you know, having very broad goals, no time frame or specifics, just small little things that can really improve in every aspect of your life and not just, you know, tiny specific things if you guys do have more concrete new year's resolutions definitely leave them down in the comments down below as well as if you're having any broad goals like myself also leave them down in the comment below i wish you guys nothing but the best for this year and i hope that it is filled with lots of love light happiness and positivity love you guys and have a fantastic new year ahead bye